Good evening everyone and welcome to the State Road 436 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Beata Stais Palaj and I am the Department of Transportation Project Manager. During the meeting we will present information on the department plan to improve safety and enhance operation throughout this project. We encourage your feedback and during the presentation we will provide multiple ways you can submit your question and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become a part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin this presentation. Thank you. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445303-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The project is located in Orange County on State Road 436, from north of Old Cheney Highway to north of University Park Drive in Orlando. This project proposes to repave the existing roadway and implement strategies to increase safety for all users along the project corridor. Safety strategies will focus on all transportation modes within the corridor, including speed management, cyclist safety, and pedestrian safety. Safety improvements include speed management enhancements such as narrowing lane widths, placing a barrier curb, changing right turn movements in some areas, modifying driveways, and installing traffic calming landscaping to encourage slower driving speeds. The project will also focus on cyclist safety with separated and designated bicycle facilities and a special emphasis on pavement markings. Additionally, protected intersection design opportunities are being evaluated that will help to separate vehicles from pedestrians and cyclists, extend the corner curbs to encourage vehicles to turn slower, and shorten pedestrian crosswalks. A mid-block crossing with a pedestrian hybrid beacon is also being evaluated at University Park Drive. A pedestrian hybrid beacon is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. The proposed typical section includes three 11-foot travel lanes in both directions separated by a 22-foot median. Separated 8-foot bicycle lanes will be provided on both sides of the roadway utilizing the existing shoulders. A 2-foot wide concrete separator will be provided between the bicycle lanes and the travel lanes. The existing 5-foot sidewalks on each side of the road will remain. 
A number of right turn lanes will be removed and replaced with landscape buffers. Landscape buffers encourage slower driving speeds. Right turn lanes would remain at Avers Boulevard, Hanging Moss Road, Baldwin Park Street, and at Bankery Road. The right turn lanes at Royal Pine Boulevard and the entrance to Wawa are being further evaluated. At Baldwin Park Street, Avers Boulevard, a protected intersection is proposed. The purpose of a protected intersection is to increase safety for all users on the roadway. They provide separation between vehicles and cyclists, reduce return radius to slow turning vehicles, protect pedestrians with a separator, and shorten the crosswalk while also providing a pedestrian refuge in the median. A protected intersection is also proposed at Hanging Moss Road. At Bankery Road, University Park Drive, a protected intersection is also proposed. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2023. Additional right-of-way is not required for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in summer of 2023. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by July 13, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor tonight or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the questions box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445303-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at beata.stice-pawash, that's B-E-A-T-A dot S-T-Y-S hyphen P-A-L-A-S-Z at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S, or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5418 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, please go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445303-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Wednesday, July 13, 2022. Contact information, recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445303-1. Have a good evening.